All right, this is Don King, our lead tech supervisor, foreman here in our service center. Um, how long you been in the business, Don? 30 years, 20 30? years here. 20 years, and master certified, yes? Yes. Awesome. Um, basically, Don's just gonna show you the front end where the body damages uh, claim to be occurred on the Carfax. Uh, everything looks good in his eyes, but I'm gonna have him show you some few details, and uh, let you take a look. Okay, go ahead. So from Jeremy and I going over this, uh, you know, we got it up on a hoist and looked at it. Um, it looks like this, uh, the fascia has been replaced. That's a replacement part sticker, but it's a good part. Um, but looking at the welds on the frame rails and stuff in this uh, bumper reinforcement bracket, that's all weld on. It doesn't look like any of them have ever been taken off and re-welded. I'm feeling the back side of this. There's no damage to the bumper reinforcement. Um, there's a little bit of... Um, you know, I don't know exactly what went on here, but on you know just the very bottom edge of this front frame rail is a little bit um, tweaked down, but it's just the bottom edge of it, not the whole thing. And from it's hard to see on the other side. You know, but it, you know it doesn't look like there was anything much more than superficial damage on it. You follow the frame rail back, and it doesn't look like it's ever been bent that severely. Um, you know, everything seems to be pretty tight on it. When we did the uh, certification on the vehicle, uh, we put tires on it, a battery, um, we paired the heated seats, um, and I'm trying to recall exactly what we did. Them are the main things that come to mind. Other than that, the vehicle was uh, pretty straight. Um, as you can see underneath here, it's, it's dry. There's no leaks under it. You know, the steering's all real tight in it. Um, it's been undercoated from the factory. As you can see you know, on the transmission, you know, this thing is just it's dry. All the way down, you know, here's the rear of the transfer case. You know, the transfer case is all dry. It's dry all the way back. Underneath this thing is in real nice shape overall. Um, it's too, uh, but as accident-wise, according to the car facts, in my eyes, I don't think it was much more than superficial damage. Um, if I was out looking at a uh, used vehicle, that would not bother me. Um, you know, what the Carfax is saying on this, because like I say, I don't think it was much more than superficial. It was just reported by, you know, some insurance company or something. Here's another indicator that says it wasn't bent that hard, I didn't point out. Um, there's the front body mounts. You, it doesn't even look like they've even ever been taken apart. So, from what I'm gathering, I don't think it was much more than a, you know, a front end bump. That, you know, where they had to put a face on it, more or less. And I'm saying it was reported by the insurance company. I can let it down and you know, we can look at it something at the top. So, based on your professional opinion, you think this car hasn't been in a major wreck? I would think no more than a superficial, you know, fender bender, more or less. More or less. I wouldn't say it was a horrific accident.